Hey guys and welcome to my Sunday reset video. So this is going to be a more talky video so grab your glass, cup, mug, whatever it is you want, grab your snacks, grab a notepad and pen if you want, I do not mind and we will just have a little chat. It is absolutely roasting today, I have no idea what's happened. I live in Scotland, it's not supposed to be this hot. Like saying to my mum the other day I am too Scottish for it to be this hot like I just I just can't anyway so Sunday resets I use them for a little bit of everything so Sunday morning I will wake up I will come downstairs I will make sure that I've I'm up to date on all my wash well as up to date as I can be on all my washing that I've got at least an outfit for each day of the week um, maybe even two. I like to have two normally just in case because different things, different vibes. Um, just numbers wise, it doesn't really matter what it is. But if there's anything in particular that I want to wear that week, I'll make sure that that's washed. You know, just make sure that I've got all the options, that everything's there so that I'm not running about stressing out looking for a pair of socks. Right, I make sure I have plenty of them. And obviously I always try to stick with my favourites because I know that like they are my diehards, they are my go-tos. That is where I go. Um so yeah. In that time when my washing's getting done, I will just do a little bits of tidying up in the kitchen and do all that. But most importantly, I do my meal prep. So while I'm waiting on the washing and the drying going, I'll obviously do my tidying up. But that's when I sit and think for the week, what am I doing this week? What is going to make my life easier? Now, I'm quite lucky with the job that I have. It's afternoons. So, organising breakfast and lunch isn't really a thing. However, having that little snack box that I, that's got like just pepperamis and cheese or some grapes or something. Just an, a nice little snack that I can have in the car on my way there or on the way back just to tide me over till I get home and I can have dinner. That is very helpful. So that is what I'll sit and do. I will sit and make that. But I also know that I'm going to be shattered when I walk in. So there is no way I'm standing there for an hour prepping the food, cooking the food, make myself an amazing dinner. So... I'll make my life easier in ways that I can. So if that's just chopping up the veg and putting it in a bag, I will chop up the veg and I'll put it in a bag. Excuse me, bag. If that is dividing up the meat, that's what I'll do. If that's bunging the stuff in the slow cooker for a few hours, I will do that. I will do what I can to make my life easier so there is that little bit less stress during the week. Um, I do try to keep all this stuff to the morning time, and there is a reason for that. But morning, maybe like into early afternoons, will be well where I am prepping. I am making my snack boxes for work. I'm getting the meals half ready, or at least bits of meals half ready, so I can just grab different bits, chuck them in, and they're done. Um, that tends to be the time I will do that. Now, it's don't get me wrong, I am not regimental. I am not sit there and be like, right, this is what I'm having Monday, this is what I'm having Tuesday, this is what I'm having Wednesday. I won't do that because I know that I can change my mind at any point. I could be sitting there on Sunday like, mm, bolognese on a Wednesday sounds great. I could get to Wednesday and I could be like, bolognese makes me feel sick. I would never say that about bolognese. Do not get me wrong, bolognese is top tier food. Top tier food. But just as an example, so... Yeah, I'm not regimental with it, but I at least make sure that I've got stuff for the week so that when I really can't be bothered, it doesn't matter what I fancy. I've got the frozen stuff for the air fryer that I can just chuck in. I've got pre-portioned up things that I can just grab and all chuck in a pot. Like casserole. Casserole sounds so difficult, but it's one of the easiest things ever. If you've got stuff pre-done. The amount of times I've picked up a casserole dish, gone over to the freezer, Pulled out the bag of carrots, the bag of onions, parsnips, peas, sweet corn, anything like that. And just, because it's all been in pre done just chucked it in with the sausages or the chicken or whatever. Filled it with water, put some gravy in it, chucked it in the oven. And then gone and had a shower. 
and got changed and sorted myself out and done all that and then come down and there's been a casserole there and the best thing about casserole is you can have it with mash you could have it with nothing you can have bread and butter it doesn't really matter it is an amazingly filling meal and you can turn it into a stew type thing if you want and add in potatoes or just boil some potatoes or something you know th that's the sort of thing that i love because i can just chuck it in and go and it takes me off two minutes if that means i have to take an hour out of my sunday to sit there and drop stuff i will take an hour out of my sunday to sit there and drop stuff so that it's done just to save myself some time so yes once i have done that i will well i say once i've done that once all my food has been sorted and all my washing's done and the hard bits done, I go upstairs and just before I start getting to my relaxing point, that's when I pull out the budget binder. Now, in my budget binder, I have two budget binders. Um, one of them is more for savings and stuff. Um, and just like what I'm setting money to each month. Um, but my other one is my weekly one. So it's literally got, I think it's got up to five weeks in it. And I take all my spare money out at the end of the month. Well, on payday, once I've paid all my bills, take all the spare money out. Uh, leave a little bit in there just, just in case. But then I take the big lump sum of my money. So if I've got like £250 spare, I'll take the 200 out and leave 50 in there. But then that 200 I'll divide it up between the four weeks. So that's £50 a week. No bother, I can do that. So I'll stick £50 in each bun um, binder folder thing. And then when it gets to the Sunday night, I'll make sure I've got my handbag and my purse and everything. So before I sit down, I'll sit there and I'll mark off like how much I had left from the week before that is now going into my savings binder. Um, and like that I'm on this month and like, this is, well, this week and this is what I'm taking out. So do that, make sure my bag is empty of everything that's only got the stuff in that I need. That way my bag does not get too cluttered. I've lost so many things in my bag. <laughs> so do that, just make sure I'm set up for the week because now that I've got that money there, that is my money for the week. I know that's my money for the week. I am fine, I have that. I have extra in my saving binder, it's fine. So then after that, it is the self-care and relaxation and look after me time. So stressed looking after everybody else, making sure the bills are paid, making sure job's done, making sure cars, working cars, file, this, that, and the next thing. And the, you need to take time for yourself. So that is what I do on Sundays. I will put coconut oil in my hair. I will let it sit for a bit. I will put whatever oil actually as well that I'm using at the time. But right now it's coconut oil because these split ends be killing me. Uh, but I will put coconut oil in my hair. I will sit and relax for a wee bit find my podcast or a show that I want to watch. I'll go for a bath and shower with the everything bath and shower. So I tend to like to relax in the bath first and exfoliate and then shave. And then I will have a shower and wash all the coconut oil and everything out my hair. Um, and then I come out full moisturise, change the bed, get myself all set up in a wee cosy corner, get myself some snacks and just relax. Do what I like to do. You know, just take time for me with my juice and just relax and enjoy it and just listen to what my body wants and take the time for myself because guarantee when I do that and I am relaxed, I've got my candles lit, my body moisturizers on, I've got all my scents and everything. Come Monday morning, I will wake up so refreshed because I took an afternoon and evening to myself. So that is just a quick overview of my Sunday reset. So why don't you tell me about yours? If I helped you out with any ideas, let me know. And if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. So I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed just a quick overview of my Sunday reset. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.